God, I feel sick. Don't like this at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. I know. I'll be careful. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, first sign of trouble, we Delta. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, V. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. You weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobud killed your father... No? I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it? Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart. To uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different? Yorinobu raised his hand against our father. But he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm He's your brother. It's been hard, it'll be hard. Let's say I get that. But what changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout, when my brother's assault group arrived not to rescue, but to kill. Yurinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Take me for a fool. Think I'd fall for that? Got plans to walk out of here alive. Had I any ill intentions, I would have chosen a side far more discreet than this. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Minen, Makoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave. Right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. And you'll help me in exchange for... My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be made to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. 
How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama, soro-soro go jitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you. Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Want me to throw Yorinobu under the bus in front of our soccer top brass? Call me crazy, but and that sounds like fucking suicide. I will need to. This I know, and that is why we will take all the necessary precautions, like such as. You will see. Let's assume it works. Then what? You take the Arasaka throne. Where would you get that idea? Figured it as a given. Besides, Takamura said you were supposed to step in for Yorinobu here in Night City. Everyone must know their place, V. That is a fact my brother has never understood. I know my place, and I have no wish to change it. Know my place too. Know exactly where I came from. Maybe, once it's all said and done, I'll find my way back there. Perhaps, if you can prove your value. Jesus, I'm gonna fucking puke. So, offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally, but think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. Getting us out of here. Don't try anything. Wait. Is everything all right, Hanako-sama? I am fine. She is not. I gotta go. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Ah. Make oh, your decision. Think it over. You could use some air right now. <laughs> I warned you. What, what are you doing? Shit, we could be hours from it now, Pete. And you can't stand on your own two feet. Well, I'm good to go. Body listens to me. See what I'm getting at? Of course I can see. Want me to hand over the keys? I want to save your life. Pop some pseudo endotrizy, scooch, and let me get behind the wheel. I'll get us to fucking Mikoshi. Uh huh. How exactly? Without that porcelain cunt's help, that's for damn sure. Don't stand a chance without help. Right about that. But that's why I'll bring Rogue. She's not rusted through just yet. Plus, she owes me. Maybe she just stuck her neck out for you a half a century ago. But now, I don't see it. I'll convince her. After all, we know a thing or two about ops like this. We'll blast our way into Sokka Tower, just like we did back in the day. Then find the way inside Mikoshi. It's our only chance. What about Pan Am? She offered help. Listen up, V. Those guys are trailer tuggers. An assault on Arasaka's just not another convoy to Jack. You already tried this with amateurs. Both know how that ended. And you tried it with pros. Didn't end any fucking better. You don't want those people involved. Their lives on the line, possibly on your conscience. Our one hope is sitting at the afterlife right now, and her name is Rogue. I need more time. Need to... Don't you get it? Time is something we are fresh out of. Gotta stop you, dickhead. What's your scheme? 
This is my body. I make the Not call. this time. <laughs> Johnny! Jesus, look at you. Can't even... Great, you checking out again? No, it's not what you think. Not yet, anyway. Easy there. Don't move just yet. Vic. You're in pain, I know. Delirious when you arrived, so I had to dose you with beta haloperidol. But light oversensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. My head. Ah. Uh Almost done, stabilizing the biochip. No, feels like... Someone's using your head as a knife block? How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here, beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then, you shoved my patient at the time off the table, and demanded you be treated immediately. Delamant was your guardian angel. Huh? wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay, but don't expect a miracle. <sighs> so slowly. Another victory for the history books. Hmm. If you got something to say, Vic, just say it. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next attack, you won't be able to crawl back here. You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? Yeah, I know. Thoughts on where to start? Jesus, again. Do I have to spell it out? It's in your hands, not mine, and not those of that thing in your head now see that setup over there yeah what about it you'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there a gift from misty want to give in to the voices in your head go ahead take a puff go silent get out or find another way End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you, and you alone. You heard him. We've got one last chance. I'm taking the wheel. Endotrizine, Rogue Sokka Tower. Only way this is gonna work. Enough, Johnny. I just... I gotta think about it. Need to stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, Just in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Uh, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. Think I can do it. Whatever you decide, let's make sure to get out of here. Thank you enough for all you've done, Vic. Only wish I could have done more. Go on now. I want to close up. Take the meds and do what you gotta do, V. Thanks, Vic. I will. And you hang in there, too. Good luck, kid. Hey, V, I heard. Well, your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy. For either of you. 
If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Sure, lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What, what's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Top floor. He had the same glum face. Who, oh, Jack? This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder. Your gang Chumba's on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm-hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but he found the courage to bet on himself. After, I brought him here. Ah, that's more like it. Air. See that? I come here when I need to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Be alone with my thoughts. You're on unachievable these days. So what? What did Jackie decide up here? Oh, you know gonna be a legend in this city. And I'm gonna leave you alone now. Take your time. Fucking scared me, know that? Thought you were on your way out. No, still here. For now. You know, should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. Not what you expect. No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. Judy. Yeah. Even I've grown to like her. She ought to know that. Hey, Judy. Oh, hey, V. What's cracking? Time we, uh, went swimming. Hmm? A lot of fun, wasn't it? What you said then, about what you sensed in me. Death. High time I faced it. Can't be sure it'll work, but I gotta try. Listen. Whatever it is you're gonna try, just be careful, okay? I'm here waiting. Thanks. Do my best. <sighs> okay. Was good you called. Wish I'd have had the chance to. Come a long way to get here, haven't we? Just think, it all started in a fucking landfill. <laughs> Then you tried to kill me. See exactly what I mean. Trying to save your sorry hide now. You can let me do that. Or you can try Pan Am and her tarmac rats. But then their lives will weigh heavy on your soul. Or you take Arasaka's deal, but then you'll have your own soul on your conscience. Try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. 
And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just want to be there for it. Aware. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Hey, just me now. B? Hey, Pen Am. Do you know what time it is? I know, but need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? Need a way into our socket tower. Now. Sorry, what? I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny. I don't do something soon. I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi. That's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Who do we have here, huh? That's Mr. Brightman. We found the poor guy in the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. Ain't alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Sure, why not? Some believe uncertainty is an evil that should be dispelled through divination. Others claim it's change that is evil. But that isn't true either. Every minute of every day, we each become someone new. We shouldn't fear change itself, but only who we might change into. Knowing one's path is most important. I devised this layout especially for you and Johnny. Your future is his future, and vice versa. Okay, I'm ready. We'll start with you, V. The Fool. <laughs> what a surprise. Let's dig deeper to find its meaning here. The Fool symbolizes the start of a journey, the announcement of something new. It's the inner child, curious of the world, but also naive and reckless. <laughs> Sounds a lot like the V I first met. The Magician. A person of great talent and charisma. A leader. Sounds like Johnny. The card is reversed. That can mean a tendency toward addiction, mental instability. Oh, okay, definitely Johnny. He has one great disturbance. The final cards are about your futures. The lovers. Something that doesn't give me the chills. Finally. Balance, friendship, love. 
Though it can also mean difficult choices ahead. Ain't that the truth? Okay, and Johnny's? The moon. Well, that doesn't sound too bad, right? I don't know, V. The moon is mystery. Hmm. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. And I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. Look out for yourself, V. You too, Misty. And thanks for everything. <laughs>